update on U.S. Steel here on the 1st. Happy New Year. I'm uh, going to go over this chart and give my thoughts on where I think it could be going. I like U.S. Steel a lot because it's easy to trade. The moves are usually, um, they play out as you have them charted compared to um, a lot of stocks where there's a bunch of different scenarios. This one seems like it's pretty, pretty easy for the most part. Um, to trade. So getting into the chart, I originally thought that this was going to be the top right here. Still could be the top, the top, but I don't like the way that this started down for an impulsive C wave. Um, if we go into lower time frames, you'll see that this is corrective move because we have A, B, C. This is corrective as well. We have one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basically seven waves. So that's definitely an ABC move as well. And it comes back up here to the very top of this. So again, if you draw a parallel line here, you can see where it would come down to. We hit the demand zone last time that I pointed out with a daily and bounce. And that's the way demand demand zones work. And so based on how far this went up, this has got to be an ABC move. So I would say that the most likely scenario is for this to come down here to about 2330 to 2350 in the demand zone again. And then I think it's got one more move higher. Uh, I jumped the gun a little bit because we got close to the top of this, but it could have been the top. And it still could be the top, but I just don't think a C wave is normally going to start out like this. So if we zoom back out here to the daily time frame again, you'll see on this move, I kind of think we're right here. This is the same as right here. And now we're making an ABC move lower. And then it probably will pop one more time. Um, on this, it's probably going to hit the supply zone, most likely. So just a long drawn out B wave in my opinion. We have A down here, B down here, but uh, let's say it does go to 2828. Then I would draw, let's say by the end of January, it hits 28. Then it would take a lot longer but, and we can get rid of these, but it would still, most likely, let's see, this is 39 and this is 28. We're talking about 11 points lower than this. Probably not going to go that low. That would be $5. It could though, but not likely. I think it comes down here to the monthly demand, starting at 10 bucks, potentially all the way down to 750. So a very bearish um, picture that I have drawn out here, but it's very easily seen that this is a head and shoulders pattern. We have shoulder, whoops, head right here, making the right shoulder, and then come down here to monthly demand. So actually this went all the way up to 30. So I guess anywhere in this demand zone is where I'm looking at for this to top out. Sometimes uh, this will foreshadow what SPY will do or what the overall market will do. Um, it's kind of weird how that works, but sometimes I use this stock to help me out. So we could be still looking at SPY uh, making a contrarian move as well based on this. So we'll see. Maybe it's not ready to take off yet. Maybe you have to wait till February for it to actually start moving down. So we'll see on that. My puts are out for April and they're in the money, so I'm not really that worried about it. And if it comes up here to 28, we'll get another good chance to short for hopefully some really good gains. But I'll be definitely selling the puts though first in this demand zone. If we come down here in the demand zone, I'm out of all my puts, and then I'll wait for the bounce, and then I'll reload again. So that's what I see right now. It looks like an ABC pattern. Um, it's still possible that it could go like this W X Y and then we like bounce 
and then it does like a five wave move down but um, that would only be W overall so this would be a B C and then we would have a, another and then we would have again something like that so that's possible but again I'm looking for an impulsive move down for me to know that it's probably gonna go down and break this low and hit monthly demand around 10 bucks so very bearish on US Steel despite the fundamentals um, over the next probably three to six months I think but again long term very very bullish on this stock if it comes all the way down here and completes the head and shoulders that would be a second wave and we're looking for about 60 bucks for the third wave so that would be a good entry if you get this in the teens then you have a chance to triple or quadruple your money over the next um, couple of years I think so that's what I see on US Steel right now look for more downside and actually let's go on lower time frames and just see where we're at in this individual move so on this actual move down I think it's likely we are at we are in WX so W could be ABC too but WXY I think it's likely that we either hit X right here or this is gonna bounce up here and we have X over here and then make one more move down to daily demand in the 23s so that's what I see on US Steel long term bullish on this stock short term bearish and just waiting for this B wave to end um, hopefully within the next month or so I think and then we can start the move down so that's it let me know what you think this I just do this stock because I like trading it it's such an easy stock for me to buy options on long term they're usually pretty forgiving and I know where it's going so that's it uh, let me know what you think in the comments like subscribe and uh, I'm gonna put out some more videos on individual stocks since we don't have the market tomorrow